I am Anil Kumar. Now we will try to understand what are rational numbers with the help of a very simple true or false question. So you need to answer these four questions whether they are true or false. Question 1. Rational numbers are ratio of integers. True or false? Question 2. Numbers represented on a number line are rational numbers. Question 3. Examples of irrational numbers, that means numbers which are not rational. Examples of irrational numbers are square root 2, pi and 1.23479 and so on. Question 4. 1.232323 and so on is a rational number. I hope you must have got your answers. To begin with, let us try to answer the very basic question that is what are rational numbers perfect and then we'll get back to these uh, four questions we define numbers of the form of uh, let's say the numbers of the form p over q are rational numbers where so there is a condition this is very important where p and q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. Correct? So that is the basic definition of rational numbers. Now once you know this, let's go back to our questions and answer them again. Right? You can check your answers with that. Now rational numbers are ratio of integers. Is this true or false? Well, if you have written it as false, then it is correct. What is this statement missing? The condition that Q, the denominator, should not be 0. 0 is also an integer, right? So, so it is false because it's missing that Q is not equal to 0 if I have rational number of the form P over Q. Perfect. So that condition is missing. Therefore, rational numbers are ratio of integers is not totally correct. Sometimes true. Question 2. Numbers represented on a number line are rational numbers. Well, these numbers are real numbers, not rational numbers. So this statement is also false. These numbers are real numbers. Let me write down here. These are real numbers, not rational. Three. Examples of irrational numbers are square root 2, pi, and 1.23479, etc. Well, this statement is indeed true. Right? Now, 1.234979 is something which is not type of a repeating decimal. Therefore, it is irrational. So, all these numbers are irrational. Perfect. Question number 4. 1.232323 is a rational number. How about this statement? Well, this is true. Since you can write this, which I could also write as 1.23 recurring, it repeats in the form of P over Q, where Q is not equal to 0. Well, some of you would like to see how we can do it, right? So, let's get to the process of learning how to write repeated numbers as rational numbers. So let me make a note here which we learned that is repeated or recurring decimal are rational numbers. Now I'll show you how we could write this number in the form of a rational number. 
To write 1.232323 so on, that is where 2, 3 is repeating as a rational number, let us assume that x is equal to 1.232323 recurring, right? Now, in this case, 0.23 is rec recurring. So, what we could do here is we could multiply by 100. So, if you multiply by 100 times x, we get a number which is 123.2323, correct? So, so we get x equals to something which is our statement number 1 and then we have another equation which is 100x equals to 123.2323. See what happens when I do 100x minus x. Now in that case, 123 minus 1 is 122 and after the decimal, we just get 0, 0. Do you see that? All these numbers cancel. So the strategy here is somehow to get a situation where the repeating part cancels out. Now it is easy to solve. 100 minus 1 is 99. So 99x is equal to 122 and x is equal to 122 over 99. Perfect. Now that is a rational number. Do you agree with me? So, we could write 1.23, sometimes you put a bar here saying it is repeating as equal to 122 over 99. So, we have shown that how the repeating decimal numbers can be written as a rational number. Perfect. So, I hope that's simple and straightforward. Now, here's a question for you. This time, write 1.2. 3, 2. So, where 3, 2 repeats as rational number. So, that is your practice test question, right? So, in this case, we will not multiply by 100 by some other number, right? So, now think about a strategy to get 1.2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2 as a rational number.